Hey everyone, it's Alex with alextucker.ca, and today we're going to take a quick look at five writer websites to inspire your own. So if you're wondering what a writer website is, it's a website for a writer, uh, for pr a professional writer specifically speaking. Uh, it's a place that you can have a blog, that you can host a portfolio of your work, and a place for you to drive traffic for people to see your work and potentially hire you and uh, become your clients. So uh, what I did is I just kind of asked around in some writer communities that I'm a part of and got some people to volunteer who had websites to be in my blog post, which you see right here. And I decided that I would do a quick video to go along with it and just record some of my thoughts on their websites. So I've got a little piece here on just how to build a writer website. And basically, uh, it's my advice that you should use WordPress. It's free. It's open source. Um, it's easy to use, it's very flexible, it's very powerful, and uh, I do recommend that you get a good theme to go with it, so uh, grab something like Divi, or grab uh, another popular one is Astra, um, you know, get, get a theme that has a good support team behind it that uh, is going to be able to help you out in the event that something goes wrong. and. So we'll start off with uh, the first site that I have here, which is SoCal Sarah Writes. Um, so we'll take a look at that. And so right away, uh, when you first load in, uh, here I'll show you, this is the first image that it shows when you load in. And it's normally paired with this word cloud right here. And <clears throat> so it's actually, uh, even though there's like a lot of colors going on, it actually looks pretty nice. And uh, you've got a, a fr nice user-friendly menu here, and you can also open up the side menu for some recent posts. So overall, I feel like the initial paint of her website is a little bit busy. Um, I mean, you've got two sliders, you've got a menu, you've got social follows, and you've got a secondary menu that you can open. So it, it is a little bit busy, but um, it's very visually appealing. So I think that although there are a lot of potential paths for the visitor to take, um, they're, they're going to be very tempted to take one of those paths, and that's kind of the, the main important thing. And uh, so I think that that's really beneficial to her. And then if you, if you just scroll down a little bit further, it's really a fairly kind of simple blog layout style. Uh, we have a sidebar, and then the posts start here. Uh, there's just a snippet, and then a read more button, of course. And then down here, there is a uh, opt-in form. And if we look at the menu, uh, you can check out some of our categories, and you can go to contact or work with me. Take a quick look there, and as you can see, with just one click or two taps on mobile, we can easily get to her contact form in case we want to uh, work with her or speak with her about something else. Uh, and of course, her social media follows are prominent. Uh, she's got a nice bio here. So overall, I think this is a great website. Uh, the only thing that I think is that it is a little bit slider happy, and it does take, uh, when you initially load it, it takes a little bit of time. That wasn't very long, but that's just a refresh. Um, so I think with like maybe just one slider on the homepage, it might be a little bit stronger, but that's just my opinion. Uh, I do think it's a very visually appealing site, and I think it probably does very well for her. So uh, the next site that we have on the list is uh, Michael's site. And Michael has a really nice uh, website. I really love his art here, um, this uh, kind of caricature of himself. Uh, I'm not sure if he drew that or if he had someone do it, but either way, it's very nice. Um, of course, there's a very prominent menu here, so you can check out the various kinds of work that he does. Um, he also has a quick button for contact, which takes us to a contact form. And if we scroll down, he's got a very uh, prominent bio right here. Uh, then he has some of his latest work. And uh, down here, there is a opt-in, social media follows. So it, it's a pretty standard website, but I think it's very well laid out. Um, to me, uh, I, I love uh, just like the simplicity of this footer right here. Like he's got, um, like as soon as when I was looking at the website for the first time, as soon as I got down here, my eye kind of went to the left side of this footer naturally, 
and I got subscribed to my newsletter, follow me on Medium. Uh, I'm already following him on Medium, so I didn't click on that, but I think I would have if I hadn't been uh, already following him. And uh, so overall, I mean, it's a very visually appealing site. It's, uh, it's very professional. And the only thing that I noticed about it is actually right here. So when you load the first page, uh, similar to Sarah's, it does take a little bit of time to load. Uh, it actually takes a little bit longer than hers. Um, well, it's taking quite a bit of time there. It took quite a while to load in. And then um, there's a link to the main page on the main page right here. So if you load in and then you accidentally click or tap on this title, then you're just going to have to wait for the main page to load again. So I would change that if possible. And this, of course, is like the header, so it appears on every page. If we go to contact, it's on the contact page as well, so you can use it to go back to the main page. But you can also use the welcome button up here. So I think that this is kind of unnecessary, and I think that he could optimize it for speed a little bit better. But uh, other than that, I think it's a really beautiful site. I like his background. I like his layout. I like his color scheme. I like the art a lot. So um, not a huge number of improvements and definitely a lot for him to be proud of here. And the next site that I have is uh, Deborah McElroy's site, which is um, kind of more of a basic blog layout than the other two that we just looked at. Um, so she's got a nice quotation here, then a little bit about the site. And if we come up top, there's a link to the blog, a link to about the author, a link to contact the author. Um, one thing that I would recommend that she improve upon is uh, the link to the home page in the menu. It doesn't say home or welcome or anything like that. It says number four, no title. So you can actually, I just clicked on that and it reloaded the home page. So I'm not sure why that says that, but I would recommend changing that for sure. Um, and the other thing I will say is that this site loads in very fast. If we do a hard refresh, it, it's like less than a second, I think, on desktop. And it was even quite fast on mobile when I tested it. So uh, she's done really well there. And uh, I think it's it's pretty, uh, pretty standard layout, uh, pretty kind of like a modern blog header here, similar to what we see on Medium. And then a uh, nice kind of got some nice short blog posts and overall it's just it's a very very simple but effective layout for a writer website and uh, the fourth one that we have here is uh, Jacqueline Vanderpoy uh, now Jacqueline uh, site is uh, also built on WordPress like the others and uh, as you can see we've, she's got a very nice appealing header image here uh, she's got a nice logo and this is actually a one-page website, so it, uh, like some of the others, it takes a while to load in. If we do a refresh, it's going to take a moment, um, and then her pop-up is going to come up, I believe. Um, so there's a lot of things that I love about this site, and a lot of things that I do think could be improved upon. Well, a couple things that I do think could be improved upon. Um, now, for example, like I understand why this is yellow when she when it scrolls because it matches the logo color. But I think that it's just too much of this yellow, so I'm not really sure what I would do with that, but I don't love the way it looks. Uh, a bigger issue, though, is like this text. Um, it's kind of hard to read with the background the way it is, and then this is even harder to read with the background the way it is. So uh, I, would, I would work on that a little bit. I would maybe give the text a highlight or potentially change the background to use less images and more... Um, more co like, you know, just regular colors. Uh, but what I love about this is, like, the way that, I mean, if you take the time to read it, it's JacquelineVanderpoy.com. If you actually take the time to read her content, you can really tell what a great writer she is just from the way she writes her own content. And you really see her creativity here in the way that she has, like, you know, she has these sliders, commitment, timeliness, passion. And then you go down a little bit further, um, she has a very nice gallery of her work on different sites that she links out to. Um, some of her clients linked here, and uh, where is it? There's something I really like. Uh, oh yeah, she has her daily smoothie recipe here. Um, so it kind of gives you a nice uh, reason to subscribe to her email list because she'll send you smoothie recipes, among other things. 
so that's Jacqueline's website, of course, contact form right there at the bottom, and you can use the menu to auto-navigate to any part of the website that you want, just like that. So it's a pretty slick layout overall. There are some improvements that she could make, but I do really like this website, and I think it's uh, it's been very effective for her. And the last one that I have to look at is uh, Born Again Minimalist, Caitlin Fisher's writer website. And uh, so this is uh, similar to Deborah's. It's a very kind of uh, basic blog layout, but again, it's, it's really quite effective. Um, I like, uh, now she writes a lot about, um, I think, uh, kind of love and romance, among other things. And I like the way that this header uh, graphic kind of gets that mood across. Um, it's, it's very simple, but it's very appealing. And then uh, she just has some stuff about herself. She gets right into it. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Uh, she has some instructions for navigating the site with links. She has uh, talk about her Patreon supporters here. Um, of course, the thing that I don't love about this site, uh, th this is a WordPress.com site, so it's a little bit less customizable than the other sites, which are built on WordPress.org. So she's got this kind of ugly login button. In the, I mean, I don't like the meta section at all. I think that could be gone. Uh, it would be better without the ads, of course, but I don't think that that's an option because it's WordPress.com. Um, and I, I mean, maybe it's like slightly larger text would be nice, but I'm kind of splitting hairs. It really is uh, a nice, simple website, and like the others, one click or two taps to get to the contact form. So uh, this is probably a very effective website, and uh, it's probably very easy to maintain and very cheap to maintain. So I think that it's a really good option. And uh, I mean, she's got you know her Patreon going on, she's got her writing, she's got her blogging. So we know it's working well. And anyways, so that's uh, just a little infographic that I made up, or just a, a Pinterest pin rather, not an infographic that uh, I made for Pinterest. And that is my spiel on writer websites. Uh, I hope that you got some inspiration out of this, or that you learned something. If you have any questions about uh, about building a website, about WordPress, about um, how to optimize for speed. Uh, I actually just wrote a blog post on how to optimize websites uh, for speed, uh, specifically if they're using page builders. So let me know if you have any questions about that kind of stuff. I'd be happy to help you out. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.